Hey folks, Phil Gallagher here for round three of this league. We're currently 2-0 with the Mox deck list that we've been playing with this week. Check out the deck tech for Monday if you want more information and thoughts on the deck list. Uh, looks like we are playing against another Gigantha deck list. We have a turn one Arbiter, which hopefully is good. It's like a Gigantha lands deck. This is pretty good if they don't have Punishing Fire. Um, but we'll see. Thought has taken one mulligan already. Our cat friend has resolved. Is it good? Jagatha, Jagant, Jagantha, Jagartha, Jagantha lands confirmed. Um, this is going to be very good. Do I just cash it in now? Yes. We should probably, I guess, cash it in on my opponent's upkeep. Rather than in my main phase. Because if they have Simeon Spirit Guide very specifically, it's easier. Sorry, I tie up their mana for more relevant time periods. Not that I think they're going to have that, but I need to be prepared for the possibility. Do I just imprint and loot away my Agonjo castle? Rather, or yeah, I, th I think I do. Take away this draw step. Stop. Uh, Revoker's nice. We won't play out the Lotus Petal yet. I intend on looting that away. Unless I drop three drop, then maybe we play it. I don't know, I really don't want to loot away this sort of plowshares. All right, my opponent gets back their Thespian stage. I have Ghost Order, uh, which is obviously very strong here. Let's attack for five, probably discard Lotus Petal, and then Ghost Quarter my opponent. Um, 
Do I even play a mom? So I, I discard that for sure. <clears throat> I guess playing the mom is the difference between lethal and not lethal next turn. All right, um, so Gigantha lands. Didn't get too much information about the specifics of what my opponent is doing. I know that rest in peace and surgical extraction will be good. And then these are cards that I can consider as well, but aren't necessarily going to be great in a lot of scenarios. I didn't get information about like what my opponent's colors are. I'm going to assume that the Kithians are just like an aggressive creature that's like maybe not where I want to be. I want to be at least somewhat disruptive. Like my Tomics are going to be good, Revokers are going to be fine. Brahmaz is a threat that lives through Punishing Fire. I should consider keeping it around. I don't know whether or not my opponent is going to be, like, Oko-centric or Red-centric. I don't have that information yet. I think in a lot of scenarios it's going to be hard for me to beat giving my opponent 20 life. I should probably be playing all of the Path to Exiles. Cut some number of sorts of plowshares for them and maybe trim mom. Gives me plus one removal spell for a merit lodge. If I cut another one of these, I can be plus two removal spells, and then I have to decide. Um, I don't think Geddon is good here, despite the fact that my opponent is a land stack without me having more information. Relic Order and Council's Judgment are worth considering, but I like given the amount of information that I have, though, I think I'm just going to run with this. This is an okay hand. I don't think it's great. I, I just think it's okay. Alright, so this leans towards my opponent being a bug deck. Or at least a blue blue green focused deck. At, for Brimaz reasons, more so than this. And I just kind of hope that my opponent has a medium hand beyond this. Uh, The Blast Zone on 2 is pretty rough for me. JK is fine.
It's awkward that I don't have this smuggler's copter in play already. Like, a smuggler's copter needs to be in play for a turn before it starts mattering. Yes, you can drop rotation. Second blast zone would be weird for me. Big Bayou. Sure. Okay, that is a thing that occurs, and hoping that they don't have a life from the loam effect, I'm going to try to get rid of the blast zone here. It's possible that going for the waterlogged grove is correct so I don't get O-code. That's rough. Sorry about that. That was my phone. I'm sure you figured that out already. So the Cavern of Souls are very much are not free, as we can see here. I'm fine once I get any other land. Um, that counts, I guess. Do I want to path the oof? If I path the oof, I can also play Smuggler's Copter. Otherwise, I can only play one of the two in this turn cycle. Yeah, I think I'm fine with removing the oof. Oh, fuck. Right, Lotus Petal, not a mana source. Would my opponent block? No, they'd Maze of Ith. Alright. Sorry about that, I got... Distracted by my phone call. This oof is quite good. So I just noticed something else that's very interesting, right? So Leon and Arbiter says that players can't search libraries. So if I were to surgical extraction my opponent, I couldn't actually search their library without paying the tax. This is incredibly awkward for me. Um, now I'm just in danger of lo just, like, losing to two creatures. My opponent doesn't have a lot going on, but this oof has crippled my ability to do anything. And, like, my opponent is going to get to, like, Maze of Ith their creature, so it like also stays back as a blocker, and then port me down forever. Alright, well, they missed part of that.
This one's not going to be terribly exciting. I'm just dead in two more turns. I'll chump block with my cat before I die so that I can surgical extraction them and get a better look at their deck list. Alright, am I just letting my Arbiter go? If I intend on surgicaling them to look at their deck list, assuming that I'm probably dead, I probably don't pay for this. Alright, yep. I'm fine with showing them the surgical so that I can look at their deck. Okay, so one, I should just snip this, honestly. So looking at three Okos, one Uro, one Tireless Tracker, a whole bunch of Reclaimers. Okay, I have, I have the gist of what's going on here. That uh, one of Collector Oof uh, really savaged me. So they're only playing three Life from the Loams. All right, now that I have more information, how do I want to do things differently? The four Evokers are great. Tomic's great. Thalia is medium. Rip is good. Arbiter's good. Uh, Brimaz is kind of whatever, like it dies to Abrupt Decay just like any other threat would, but it does potentially get bigger. Not bigger, but like it becomes a bigger threat over time by creating extra cats. I think I will play the Council's Judgment as just one more answer to Oko, because that's like the easiest way that I lose this. I don't think Relic Warder is good enough for just exploration and library. Um, I guess there's Mox Diamond to think about, too. Maybe it is. I like the Evasion of Copter in case Revoker gets stonewalled. What if I cut these Thalias? I could play a Relic Warder. Is playing yet another source of posture effect bad? Probably. I'm supposed to be at 19 creatures, which is probably one creature fewer than what I actually want to have. My opponent has Decays, three Decays, three Ogos as removal for my stuff. What does the backside of Kithian do? Eh. Play one Thalia. Um, this is a hand with graveyard hate, but like the rest of the hand literally does nothing. I need to mulligan this. This is a pretty terrible hand. I 
Is it bad enough to mulligan? I can throw back Lotus Petal and go turn one Giver into turn two Revoker Oko and have that protected for most of the game. I think I throw back my Mana Acceleration and just keep more live cards. Um, so I'm really down two cards here. I'm down one card from my mulligan and one card because my opponent has a companion and I don't. Um, this is a pretty bad position. It becomes worse if I have to revoke a Mox Diamond because my opponent has one and then I don't have Revoker for Oko. Yep. Never mind, we might mise this game off uh, Revoker here. No giver attack here. We are 100% uh, protecting this revoker for as long as we can. I believe that my opponent has two forests in their deck. That's really interesting. Do I go after this Maze of Ith and start trying to aggro my opponent out, or do I play this more conservatively <coughs> and just wait till the Maze of Ith doesn't matter and attack their actual mana sources? I don't think I deal with the Maze of Ith yet. I'm not presenting that much of a clock. Like, a 2 damage a turn clock isn't that much. And I would rather just try to wait this one out a little bit more. Tabernacle is like awkward for me if it were to stick around, but hopefully between Ghost Quarter and Wasteland, I'm good. So my opponent is giving me the option of destroying this Triome, which I accept. Alright, opponent potentially doesn't have the Oko to just like absolutely savage me, so that's good.
So protection from colorless beats out Maze of Ith. We'll sit on our Ghost Quarter for a little while until we can until our opponent has fetched the other forest potentially. I'm not worried about dying basically anytime soon. That's awkward for me. So I need to be thinking about this burrow that can come back from the graveyard. And if my opponent copies a mana producing land, I might have to make a move with the ghost quarters. Yeah. So what am I tagging here? I can just turn Thespian Stage into Forest. That's really not what I want. I'm trying to keep my opponent off of mana. So let's keep them off of their colors and just turn this into the other forest. All right. Now, am I willing to blow the other one of these to actually destroy a land? Yes. This Thespian stage, ah, uh, that, was, that was the wrong one to do. Because that means if they top deck a blue producing land, they can go Misty into other thing. Ah. <sighs> Opponents' multiple crop rotations here um, are particularly brutal. Yeah, I'm so fucked. There's no world where I beat my Phyrexian Revoker leaving play via that Blast Zone. Absolutely no world. Like, my opponent is just going to get an Uro activation every turn. Like, I can bounce it via Caracas, but just, like, gain three life, draw a card, play an extra land every turn. Um, probably ends up being insurmountable. I'm gonna have to get like rest in peace or surgical to remove the Uro. I can't waste on them off of Uro colors either, assuming there's a, yeah, 
assuming there's vegetable lands in their deck, which I think is safe. I can double check, but yeah, there's another tropical island in there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically dead here. See if I get two points of damage here. I'm not sure if I do. Yep. Um, so the next question is, is there anything I want to Wasteland? I think the answer is no. I think this Wasteland needs to chill. My opponent can cast the Uro no matter what. So I need to be prepared for, I don't know, like my opponent knowing it's coming and playing around it better. Getting rid of the port is tempting. Because that's going to take me off of true white white. Which is a problem if I rip the council's judgment because that would be a permanent answer to Uro. Yeah. The third crop rotation. Um, that's very frustrating. So this has just been a game of like maximum punish. Um, I'm going to throw in the towel here. I think I'm likely enough to lose that I don't want to battle through it. Alright, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>